What's up guys, it's Griffin, back with another tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this today. Just make a super cool abstract banner using flares only, besides the backing of course. So let's get right into it. So I'm not going to show you guys how to do the full text, like the full Obey Studios text like we have here in this tutorial. I'm just going to do a logo, I'm going to do the Obey logo, so I'm going to open a new document, <clears throat> let's do, oh actually no, I'm going to do a banner in this tutorial so I'm gonna open my banner template I'm gonna do control H to show my guides uh, so yeah I have the obey logo in my new pack that I have right here <coughs> if you guys don't know what this is it's my new pack it's ten dollars it's not free this time unfortunately but if you want to buy it there will be a link in the description so obey logo drag it in there we go I'm going to center it by doing control A and then I have my alignment tools up here so that one and that one and control D and now we're going to need a good flare stock so I have one in this pack once again but if you don't have one just look up optical flare on google images and you can find one easily I'm going to drag this into our document and now I'm Let's see, the first side I'm gonna do the flare for is the left side. So I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees clockwise and then just put it right up against the side. Oh, and by the way, if you have a curve logo, I'm gonna do that right after the, I do the obey logo. Just so I can show you guys how to wrap it and everything. Um, so I'm gonna make this smaller so it fits better. All right, that's good. And now I'm gonna erase the top and bottom. There we go. And I'm just gonna do a few more sides and then speed it up so you guys don't have to watch this. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do the bottom left. So I'm gonna rotate it. All right, that's good. Now I'm gonna erase. There we go. All right. And now I'm gonna make a duplicate of the first flare we did again because we erased too much of the second flare. So hold Alt, drag. I'm gonna do the right now. All right, erase that. And now I'm just gonna fast forward through this so you guys don't have to watch this in real time. So I will be right back. Alright, so now that we're done with this, I'm going to select all my flare layers, I'm going to group them, control G, now I'm going to title it flares, now I'm going to control J our group, 
and control E to merge them. I'm gonna hide our flares group. So now we have them all together in one layer. So first thing we're gonna do is use our eraser tool, put your hardness to zero. Also the way I'm doing this is by holding alt and right clicking and dragging. So alt, right click, drag. You can drag left, or right, up or down. It'll just affect your settings. But I'm gonna drag left to make it smaller, drag all the way up to put the hardness to zero. Then I'm gonna start erasing the edges. Actually, let's make it a little bit bigger. Oops, a little bit bigger, that's good. And then just start erasing our edges. Ooh, wait, I'm gonna make it a little smaller for this part. There we go. So now that the edges are erased, um, I'm gonna make sure I put my blending mode to screen again. Uh, as you can see, we have a bunch of eraser spots inside. So I'm gonna duplicate this flares layer, control J, and I'm gonna go up to blur, put our blur to like 50, that's good. And then it, um, for the most part, it gets rid of our eraser, um, our eraser spots. And yeah, now we have our flare logo. So I'm just gonna duplicate these and merge them, screen, and hide these layers, <clears throat> just so it's all one layer. And now I'm just gonna, we're just gonna make a basic backing for our banner. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some lighting, make a new layer, put your color to white, seize our brush, <clears throat> just use the circular airbrush, the first one. I'm gonna make it a little bigger and just put a, oops, my bad. We're gonna put all these under our backdrop and our banner template if you have one of those. Uh, but yeah, just gonna click on top, make some nice little lighting. And drag the opacity down 25. Yeah, that's good. All right, um, now, I'm gonna look up on Google like I'm gonna have a texture backing that'll look nice. Uh, let's see. Ooh, this could actually be cool. All right, I'm gonna copy this image. I'm gonna put it at the back like that. All right. Now I'm gonna make it smaller. Hold Shift while you do this to keep it proportional. There we go. I'm gonna center it, so control A, then these tools up here, vertically center, horizontally center, and we're good, control D now. I'm gonna make it black and white because I'm not a huge fan of the pink and purple. Mm, let's turn the opacity down a lot. Alright, so now we have a nice little backing. I'm gonna add some more. Um, I'm gonna grab this texture. Copy image, control V. I'm gonna make it bigger to fit our document. Once again, go to image adjustments, black and white, to make it black and white. I'm gonna put this one to overlay. So now we have a little more texturing. And, um, let's see, let's turn up our lighting a little bit. Like 40. Yeah, um,. All right, so obviously this isn't, this doesn't look like a finished banner or anything, but I'm just showing you guys uh, how to do that flare logo. Um, so yeah, that's it for this banner. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do it with a curve logo, if you have a curve logo. So let's see what curve logo is there. Um, should we do dare? No. Uh, let's do synergy. Okay, I'm just gonna make a new random document. Um, I'm gonna drag this on. Oh, okay, we can't see it, so I'm gonna go to background. If your background is white, you can do Control I to invert it, and the invert of 
white is black, so yeah. Now I'm gonna do it with our Synergy logo and show you how to wrap it. So I'm gonna go get the same flare we were using. I'm gonna drag that on. All right, so now you're probably wondering how we can curve it to make it fit the Synergy logo. So here's how you're gonna do it. I'm gonna make this bigger. So I'm just gonna put it like, I'm gonna rotate it like that and then put it on the edge like that. And now I'm gonna show you how to wrap it around. So we're gonna use the liquify tool. Go to liquify. And now I'm gonna zoom in. And we're just gonna, you guys will see, just, you're gonna start like right around here and you're just gonna drag, oh no, that's not good. You're just gonna, you really have to experiment with it because it's hard to explain how to really use the liquify tool effectively. Just gonna drag around. All right, that's good. And then other side. All right, okay. And now part of it is wrapped around, so this part isn't, oh, put our hardness to zero. I'm just gonna erase all the parts that didn't get wrapped nicely. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have a backup, like a, a backup flare to use for each flare we do. So I'm gonna duplicate that. Gonna hide the bottom one. And now, gonna rotate it so this side doesn't really need any wrapping because it's not curved so oh also I'm gonna turn our opacity down to like 30 or actually like more like 10 yeah that's good so um, it's all about experimenting with this once again just see what looks best I'm gonna make this bigger um, all right yeah, that's good. I'm gonna erase this side. And I'm gonna erase part of this side too. And I'm just gonna fast forward this um, so it doesn't take so long. So yeah, be right back. Money, 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 all I know. Spending, spending, can I take it when I'm gone? If happiness will me after all my Lamborghini letter just to wipe my tears Okay, so now I have flared the whole logo. So now I'm gonna do what we did on our Obey logo. Oops, uh, cancel. I'm just gonna duplicate all these layers. Control J, Control E. And I'm gonna group all these um, flares. And now we're just gonna put it to screen. Oops, hide that. And now I'm gonna duplicate it and then blur it just like we did before. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Gotta erase the edges first. So just go around, erase the edges. This is kind of optional, by the way. You don't have to do this. Um, gonna go in here and erase right here. All 
Alright, that's good. I'm gonna duplicate this. Blur it. Like... 25. So, that's pretty much it, guys. In this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to make a logo or like redo a logo or a text using flares only and yeah hopefully you guys took a lot from this tutorial and learned a new style like this so yeah if you guys enjoyed so that's pretty much it in this tutorial I showed you guys how to redo a logo using flares only um, so yeah, if you guys took a lot from this tutorial and you enjoyed it, please leave a like, and comment, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you guys later. Peace.